We do need this billion euro fund. There is a major health crisis here. We've got a very short window to get on top of it and prevent the uncontrollable spread of this disease. This is a very worthwhile investment and that money would be spent on providing additional beds and isolation facilities in country because the only way we're going to stop the spread of the disease is to make sure that people are isolated and treated early. Diese Epidemie im westlichen Afrika, in den drei Staaten Guinea, Sierra Leone und Liberia, ist eine große menschliche Tragödie, das ist gar keine Frage. Aber sie ist eben noch mehr als das. Es drohen unter dieser Epidemie ganze Strukturen, ganze Staaten zusammenzubrechen. Bueno, la primera buena noticia es que la evolución de Teresa Romero en falta de confirmación es positiva. Que ninguno de los 15 afectados plantean síntomas, lo cual es otra buenísima noticia. Y la tercera buena noticia es que acabo de hablar con el comité eh, especial eh, constituido en España y no tenemos ninguna reserva sobre el borrador de conclusiones que se ha planteado, sino más bien todo lo contrario. But we all know that this is a serious and significant problem that we should not underestimate. It's not a problem that will stay in one part of the globe, but has the potential to travel everywhere. And so we need to make sure that we're doing everything we can to help sort it out at source, if you like, and also to deal with it uh, in terms of our own national security and working in a collaborative way. So I think all proposals will be, will be looked at, and it will just really depend what the best fit is and what the best package is of, as Prime Minister Cameron says, money, very important, equipment, very important, and staffing, very important.